In the first problem of section 3.3, .3, we're asked to find the displacement of a particle whose velocity is modeled by, or is given by this function right here, from time equals zero to time equals two. Now, recall that the uh, displacement of a, of a particle, uh, we'll call it s of t, is given by uh, the integral from, uh, well, in this case, t is equal, from t uh, equals zero to t equals two of just the velocity function. All right, well, this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of uh, 3 sine of 2 pi t, uh, the first coordinate. And the second coordinate, we have 3 cosine of 2 pi t, and 4 t in the last coordinate. If we just integrate um, each coordinate function, we get, well, let's see, 3 over 2 pi uh, cosine of 2 pi t, and we also have a minus sine. comes from that, from the integral of sine. And the second coordinate will have uh, positive 3 over 2 pi uh, times sine of 2 pi t. And in the last coordinate, the integral of 4t is uh, 4 over 2, or 2t squared. Now we want to evaluate each coordinate from uh, 0 to 2. So first coordinate, this will be negative 3 over 2 pi. So we'll factor that out and then just evaluate cosine of 2 pi from 0 to 2. That's cosine of 4 pi minus cosine of uh, 0. That's the first coordinate. Second coordinate, um, again, we'll factor the two pi, 3 over 2 pi. And we get sine of 4 pi minus sine of 0. And in the last coordinate, we have 2 times 2 squared, or 8, minus 0, which is just 0. But cosine is periodic with a period of 2 pi, so cosine of 4 pi is just 1. We have minus 1, so this term goes to 0. And, of course, same thing with sine. It's periodic with period 2 pi, so it goes to 0, too. And that just leaves us with eight in the last coordinate. And if you really look at the original problem, that kind of makes sense because, well, we have sine of 2 pi t and cosine of 2 pi t. So obviously, I mean, as the arguments go from, you know, 2 pi to, or 0 to 4 pi, well, of course, when we integrate, we're also going to get these periodic functions. So we're just going to, in this coordinate, we're going to kind of go out and then come back and go back out and come back to where we started since we're going with, uh, since the period we have, uh, since the period is 2 pi and we're going from 0 to 4 pi. And similarly for the second coordinate. So overall, the second coordinate, you really don't end up going anywhere. You kind of go somewhere and then just come back to where you start. But since the um, third coordinate is linear, uh, well, linear and then uh, quadratic when you integrate it, uh, you're actually going to go somewhere from 0 to 2, so you're going to have some, some positive displacement.